welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my friend Liz and we're decorating her balcony today. So you can just share like what was your vision for the space and what do you want to use the space for? Well, we've had a balcony that's been bare since we've <laughs> moved in. Um, but I wanted a space so we could like host people and just kind of have a place where it's like a um, like a home away from home, like somewhere where you could feel restful and peaceful. Um, so I'm really excited um, to have like a a space that is another space, I guess. <laughs> Just um, to hang out. Yeah, well, especially with like um, COVID and stuff, you know, it's hard to get out or even go to any place to relax. So um, I'm hoping that this will be a place where not only I can enjoy, but others can enjoy too. Awesome. So we're going to jump in. Let's get started. So something I really love to do when I'm designing a space for someone else is to just get on their Pinterest, have them share with me just some inspo pics of what they're looking for. It really gives me a good idea of how to go about designing their space within their budget in particular. For this video, I'm so excited we got to partner with Yita Home. They gifted us this furniture for Liz's balcony in exchange for a review. So I'm gonna give you guys an honest review of what I thought about this furniture. So we put it together wrong, so we're gonna take it apart and re-put it back together again. <laughs> so off the bat, I will say it was not super easy to put together as far as the instructions. Um, they were a little bit confusing at first, but once we got the hang of it, it was super easy to put it together. We almost didn't need the instructions once we like kind of figured it out. Overall, I would say it's pretty simple to put together. It's very sturdy, pretty comfortable for patio furniture, and the price point is honestly really great considering we looked around at patio furniture and a lot of it is really expensive. I would have definitely preferred a lighter color, but honestly, this one really worked out for our space. We didn't love the throw pillows, but we we're gonna do an easy swap out. But they also gave us a coupon code, which I will link in the description box for you guys. If you wanna get this furniture, it's 20% off. So since we are outside, I think Liz opted for um, a more tan brown rug that wouldn't get dirty. Also, this is an outdoor rug, so it's perfect for this space. We picked a size that would kind of cover most of the ground. So I think it was a five by seven or eight, but it was perfect for this space because it covered most of the floor. And then with the furniture in, it will cover all of the gray painted floor. This furniture was definitely a tight squeeze for their balcony because their balcony is not super big and spacious, but I think it did give it kind of the cozy vibe that she was going for in a lot of her inspo pics where there's like more of the bulkier furniture on a smaller patio. I really loved the look of the chairs being separated from each other, but because of the door being where it is, there was really no other option but to put the chairs next to each other and the couch on one side and the chairs on the other. So we got these like little hooks that we're gonna use for the stucco because we can't like put a nail in it. So hopefully this works. Here goes nothing. curtains because they came all wrinkly if you could see we steamed a little piece right here and it looks a little bit better so we're just gonna steam the whole thing and then yeah okay so we found this basket at the thrift store humongous super cute how much was it seven dollars for seven dollars I saw this at where did I see it home goods or TJ Maxx for like twenty dollars oh we got it from out of the closet yeah 
so cute okay let's hang it up we're gonna use the same hooks that we use for the lights and hang it straight back there there we go love I love it So we kind of ran out of budget, so I dug through my stash and found some stuff that we could use, possibly. I have these little placemats, which I was thinking maybe one on the table. I have those three chargers that might work for something if we need. I'm filming, babe. And then this pillow cover, and then this pillow. These both feel like they would work well outdoors because they're kind of like wooly. Or I don't even know what material this is, honestly. But it doesn't feel like it would get dirty easily. So I'm thinking those. And then I have this extra pillow as well. Um, and then this throw blanket. Some faux plants. Because we really wanted to bring plants out. But I think we're out of budget. So I think that these plants might work. I also have this stool that I found at Hobby Lobby a while back for my own apartment. It was 50% off, and I think it will look good in their outdoor space, so I'm going to gift it to them. Okay, so I stopped at the dollar store to grab some twist ties for the lights and an extension cord, and I found these cool things. I think I have a dangling plant that would work well in this, so I'm going to grab one. They're $2.99. Okay, so I just pulled up to this little cute garden place. It's called Armstrong Garden, I think, in Pasadena. And I'm really excited because I want to get Liz a plant. She's one of my really good friends and I love her so much. So I wanted to gift her like a floor plant. So I'm going to look here and see. I love them so much. Like I can't express how much I love them. They're really close friends of ours, like her husband is friends with my husband and we're really close friends and then all of us hanging out together so I love them so much so I really wanted to gift her a plant so I can jazz up her space um and yeah so let's go inside and see what we can find I think I want this one right here it's a peace lily and I think that's perfect such a coincidence because once I got back, I noticed this, which I must have missed before. The mat outside of their front door says House of Peace. How wild is that? So we just turned on the lights and they look so cute. So we're going to move the furniture back and get this place ready to get styled. And we have this little plant basket in my car, so I'm going to use this for their new peace lily.
watching. Liz, what did you think about this face? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you probably saw, saw the before and after pictures, but it's just been uh, like a fresh breath of air. Like I feel like it's a place where I can just go and relax and just like hang out, feel the breeze, get some sunlight because our place is a little bit dark. But um, yeah, it's amazing. It's like probably better than anything that I thought in my head that it was going to look like. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you thought about this space and keep spreading the love and light as always. And I will catch you on the next one.